Matt and Sarah Brown are the founders of anti-domestic violence Kopapa. She is not your rehab. Their latest efforts to raise awareness about this Kopapa is a campaign called Who Is She? Included in this is a short doco directed by Brandon Temwana Nui. A warning, some viewers may find the content of this next clip disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. He had cigarette burns on his face, adult bite marks and and his body was just swollen. Been emotional scenes inside and outside the High Court at Rotorua this morning. I always think about what was his last thoughts when he was getting locked in the closet and getting abused. When the couple who killed three-year-old Moko Rangi Tohedere are being sentenced. Our Maori tanga have been stripped away from us. Through the generations, the, the value of a woman has been lost. Men were beautiful, men were soft, men were nurturers. That's an important stamp of our history that needs to be taught and re-indigenised into our culture today. Where we're from and how we've grown up, your natural reaction when you're this close to a man is smash him in the face. You know, to hear violence, waking up to violence, I'm going to sleep to violence, it was normal. All I saw was the ambulance leaving. Policing, incarceration, education, healthcare, it affects all of us. This is all coming out of our taxpayer dollars. I didn't know what trauma was. After losing my son, I knew I needed to change. I didn't know how, but I knew I wanted to. There are so many men that I've met through the barbershop who are actually doing the work. I learnt about forgiveness. For the last three years, I've been thinking about how am I going to forgive these people for murdering my three-year-old boy. It's important for me to express because words have power. The power to lift you or destroy you. So this campaign posed the question to the public, if she is not your rehab, then who is she? Turning those positive words into 100 pieces of artwork. Encouraging our tāne ma to understand how powerful vulnerability can be. She gives me strength. She's tapu because she is my mother and I love her. And she's sweet with a bit of sting. <laughs> She's a woman of many talents. It's my wife, prolific. Society needs to take accountability for the men that we're raising. Pretty powerful doco there, just in that short clip. Goosebumps here, goosebumps. Matt and Sarah, who are no strangers to our show, are with us now from Christchurch. Dena Kōrua, thank you for joining us. Dena now talk us through the documentary that follows Jordan Rangi Toheriri, father of Moko Rangi Toheriri, who was beaten to death by his caregivers at the time in his first ever public interview. Well, first of all, it was an honour to have his story as part of this campaign, because this is what this campaign is. It's really a uh, hundred different tāne sharing their kupu, their words for our wahine to affirm and uplift them. And so Jordan wanted to do so to uplift his wife, and he was bravely willing to share uh, his story. And so, um, you know, which is one that's incredibly powerful. It speaks a lot of his own forgiveness, his own healing. And I know his, his incentive for doing so was really so, to inspire other Tani to go along this healing path too. Yeah, interesting when, when he spoke of forgiveness. How do you forgive? I mean, I don't even have the answer to that. This documentary is released today. Where can Fano see it? You can see it on all our socials, um, She Is Not Your Rehab um, at on Instagram or Facebook or visit our website, sheisnotyourrehab.com. You, you two are doing an exceptional job here. But in addition to that doco, the Who Is She campaign also includes a gallery exhibiting 101 words that men have used to answer the question, if she is not your rehab, then who is she? What are some examples of the words used and where did these submissions come from? Well, they came from men all over the world, Neil, and it's been amazing to read the thousands of submissions that came in because the words are beautiful, powerful. Uh, right behind us, you can see the word gravity that was submitted by the brother Tikitane uh, for his wife, Rachel, who's an, a huge advocate for, um, you know, violence-free Aotearoa. Uh, we've had men from inside prison. 20% of our submissions came from prison. Uh, and so the men have written beautiful, powerful words to affirm and uplift our wahine. And I like the word you used, brother. You said indigenised. I hadn't, I hadn't heard that before. I like bringing that back to what we once were. What, what inspired the question, who is she? It's just like, we, you know, I've been privileged to be a barber and, and hold space for men for, for over a decade now. And so many men have, you know, disclosed to me their stories, their upbringings, and just how 
we honor and hold uplift our women in our own homes and I, we wanted to highlight that that yes we our statistic rates when it comes to family violence is horrific in this country but we wanted to highlight men who are actually doing the work who are actually not perpetrators of violence who uplift and, and show up for their faith for their whanau. There are some really moving parts of this, right? Have you had any stories that are uplifting, something that has continued to inspire you on a more positive note? Every day. Every day. Every day. Um, I mean, we, there were thousands of submissions submitted. We had to choose 100, and that was so hard. Um, yeah. And as my wife and I read them, we just sat there crying with each other. Um, just beautiful, you know, whereas, like, fucker papa, you know, without, without women... There would be no men, you know. Woman are fucker papa. Uh, grounding, she's offa, she's inspiration, she is brave, she's taonga. Our most, our most um, submitted word actually was home. And so that's beautiful because clearly, you know, men don't want to live in rehab centres, they want to live at home. And so to describe their wahine as this, I, I just think it, it speaks of a whole group of men that we would like to highlight because I feel that that's inspirational, you know, that has ripple effects that will uh, shift culture around how we speak and affirm our wahine. And there are some real difficulties here, some, some real struggles, I'm sure. What drives you to continue in this particular kaupapa? Honestly, Neil, we will continue this kaupapa until every child in this country lives in a violence-free home. That's our commitment to this kaupapa. Uh, you know, we want for every single tamariki in this country to live free of violence. We want for them the same as we want for our own tamariki. Mm -hmm. And until that, is, until that is a possibility, until that is a reality, we will continue to advocate and do this work. Beautiful. Well, what are some of the other parts of the Who Is She campaign that Fano should be aware of and how can they contribute to this important kaupapa? Well, come along and visit us. We are right here at Ōtutahi. We have uh, got an art gallery uh, for the next year. So you can be part of that exhibition. Come and visit us. Submit your own words. Uh, you can also visit us online if, if Ōtutahi is a bit far for you. Uh, we will have a whole virtual reality uh, gallery to come and visit online um, available from Friday. So there's many ways to visit and be part of the campaign. But really, um, the ultimate thing for us really is to start to normalise us uh, speaking of our wahine in this way. So whether that be your mother, your auntie, your partner, your daughter, you know, affirm and speak um, words of life over her. Jeez, you are both extraordinary people. Matt and Sarah Brown from She Is Not Your Rehab. Thank you both so much for joining us today. All the best for your documentary and thank you for the mahi you're doing to highlight the importance of this kaupapa. Tēnā kōrua. Kia ora. Now, just a reminder, if you're concerned about someone who may need help, contact Women's Refuge NZ 0800 Refuge or 0800 733 843 or the Family Violence Helpline 0800 456 450.